Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to patch 2.3c, the last patch before the big one, patch 2.4, which is coming out in a couple of weeks time, but that's still in the horizon. We still have patch 2.3c, which is not the biggest patch, but there is quite a few interesting changes that we all talk through together about. As always, if you enjoy the type of content I'm doing on this channel, being very much appreciated if you can subscribe, like the video, share the video, and all that fun stuff. But enough of me talking. <clears throat> Let's head straight into this. As it says on the last balance patch of the 2.3 cycle, and there's some chills in the air with obviously the Sentinels and everything as well, which is kind of cool. First thing is the new skins. The Battle Academy skin line is coming into Wild Rift 22nd of July. It's a really, really awesome skin line. I really enjoy it. I really like the uh, the skins and the, the graphics and the animations and everything in general. My best one is uh, Ezreal by far, but you've got Graves in there, Katarina and Lux as well. And you also have a bunch of different accessories as well. A bunch of emotes, ball balls, recalls and everything as well. So some nice things there to, you know, enjoy your experience of, of Wild Rift with all the skins and emotes and everything as well, which is quite fun. But now it's on to the interesting stuff, the champion changes. Now the first one is Amumu. Now, Amumu you don't see a lot in terms of high elo. I think this is mainly for lower elos with Amumu. All they're doing is nerfing his armor by five. This basically just affects him in terms of the early game when he does that first maybe second clear of the jungle he'll be taking a little bit more damage and obviously he's going to be a little bit less effective in terms of duels with other uh, junglers so a bit of a surprising nerf but a little nerf to say the least so not really anything too crazy uh brum we have the mighty brum now brum has been really really strong probably one of if not the best supports out there at the moment um there was a bug fix apparently uh Sonderation at max level is now 1.5 instead of 1.56 so it's like 0 0.06 so not too much uh winter's bike um damage is going down which is pretty nice i think this this uh ability does way too much damage i mean i don't even know if that's going to be enough in terms of damage um, I think the base damage and everything itself is just way too much. So it'll bring the damage down a little bit, but honestly not too much. Um, but I still think that the ability, the hitbox as well, like what you can do with Brom's first ability in laner phase is absolutely disgusting. Um, and then they nerfed the um, the unbreakable, the shield by one second. So this just makes it that you don't, you can't just put it up randomly sometimes and kind of predict it. You have to use it as more of maybe a reactionary, try and like actually block certain skill shots or use it at the correct times because obviously the duration has gone down by a second. But honestly, not that many big changes to Brom. Um, the passive is just a bug fix. Honestly, it's not even that much big of a difference. Winter's Bite might affect him in terms of damage um, in laning phase a little bit, but not too much, honestly. You can still hit it really easily, and it's still really effective. And the duration of the of the shield is not too big of a change, but again, it's just making sure... It's a bit like Lulu in a way when I nerfed Lulu. It's making sure that you don't just use the ability and it's there and people are worried about it, but like Lulu's shield, when a duration lasts a long time, it's more of like you have to make sure you use it at the right time or it will basically be gone. Moving on to Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn hasn't really been seen that much a play in terms of high elo again. I'm not really too sure about lower elos. Uh, but I haven't really seen her too much, um, but the heal on her passive has gone down from 10% to 7.5%. This was when she was turning invisible. And then when she um, appears and, you know, attacks people and goes invisible again, she heals a certain percentage, um, you know, back in terms of HP. So this is what this is. So it's go down by 2.5%. Not that big of a margin, but still a little bit of health that she won't be able to regain, which is quite nice. And also damage AP ratios against low health uh, champions has gone down by 20% as well. Again, not really big changes, but little changes just to try and lower her down a little bit. It's very similar to Brom and uh, Mumu. And very similar to Ezreal as well. Again, um, Arcane Shift just going up in cooldown. Or three seconds at first rank, two seconds at second rank, and one second at third rank. Again, not really that much big of a difference. The main way that this could really affect Ezreal is in the laning phase. Because most of the time... 
you max E second. Do you get to level, just trying to think now, like level 10? And it won't really, you won't really feel the effect of it. If you get to like level 10 or level 9, then you won't really feel the effect of the cooldown. Again, this is mainly for laning phase. Ezreal is super safe in laning phase. And sometimes you could just use the E and it comes on, obviously, off of cooldown quite quickly. 25 seconds, even though it's relatively long cooldown. They've made it even longer now. So you have to make sure that you're using Arcane Shift the dash at the right time, making sure that you don't actually waste the ability again. So making it so there's ways to actually play around these sort of champions, which is quite nice. Fiora, all they're doing is nerfing her health by 40. Does absolutely nothing at all. Um, I think the main thing about Fiora in the top lane, I don't know too much about top lane, but the main thing about Fiora top lane is that she's able to poke from range really, really easily with her abilities. She's able to get easy stacks of, of grasp. She's able to do a lot of damage, obviously, with her passive as well. So I don't think this will do too much. But again, it's just little changes that they want to do before the big patch 2.4. Again, same with Janna. Both uh, bonus movement speed while on cooldown. Uh, move speed is going down a little bit at higher ranks. So at 3 at max rank. Um, again, it's just nerfing her again in terms of just little tiny things with Janna. Didn't really... I don't really feel the movement speed that much. I'm not really too sure if Janna players are going for W Max still after the nerf to the damage and the cooldown of the second ability, or if they're going for E Max. But again, even if they're going for E Max, and then you always go W second anyway. So again, you, you I, the early game is pretty much no different. You only feel the effect when you hit above, you know, uh, level ten or anything like that. And then again, it's only like. 3% difference in terms of movement speed, which is not the be all and end all for the champion. This one is, in my opinion, probably the biggest change of this patch. I haven't actually read further down. I can't even remember the other ones further down. I briefly looked through this before, but I can't really remember. But Leona is getting buffed again. Like, this champion has gotten so many buffs, but this buff is quite a, um, quite a big one. Uh, base damage going up by a little bit. Um, passive is not really too much in terms of what i think will be the big change this i think is the big change the armor and magic resist on the second ability is going up by quite a damn lot and this is the ability that you always max first as well so once you hit level uh i think it's level six or level seven you'll be able to get 80 armor 80 magic resist plus 20 percent of your bonus armor and magic resist it, it's kind of crazy whereas before it was 55 plus you know 20 percent so you're getting near enough double well actually no not near enough double you're getting about 25 percent maybe above 25 percent bonus now in terms of the flat armor and magic resist that you're going to be getting from the ability so actually pretty big change to make her quite a lot tanky so she can actually you know go into fights and you know be able to survive a little bit of damage so Pretty big changes to be fair to uh, Leona's second ability. Maybe she might become meta now. Who knows? They've given her like three, four buffs in a row now. I think they really, really want Leona to become meta. So maybe this is the one that just creeps her over the edge. But we'll uh, we'll see how the changes go. Uh, Ricardo's getting a really nice change to his first ability, increasing increasing the range. I really, really like this change. Um, the range was absolutely ridiculous before with the first ability. You couldn't really poke anyone you couldn't use it effectively in terms of healing or anything like that and it's just yeah it was just terrible so now they're increasing the range which is really really nice um even though it's only up by one it's still you know better than nothing you can still sit back a little bit more and try and use your uh, first ability to try and poke in lane especially because you don't normally max this ability until last you normally max e or w first and then vice versa for the next uh, one to max so it's nice that it's getting a one range increase at the first rank. So hopefully it might be a little bit more effective. Uh, again, Sona changes only little, but I actually really, really like this change as well with Sona. Uh, just the mana going up on her uh, third ability. You shouldn't be able to spam this ability as much in laning phase. You shouldn't be able to keep spamming E, keep getting constant movement speed throughout the whole laning phase. So I really like this change that the mana has gone up. Obviously, most of the time you go for Tyr of the Goddess into Archangel Staff um, with Sona. So you might not be able to feel it that much, but it's mainly for like the early laning phases. You were able 
to spam this ability with all your other abilities. You do lose quite a lot of mana, but obviously you are able to move quite a lot and you're able to poke and heal and everything as well. So it was again quite frustrating. Um, but yeah, I kind of like this change. Um, it makes it so you're not going to spam the ability all the time. Make sure that you actually use it at the correct times that you need to use it, either to escape or to uh, to try and engage. And you're not spamming it in any other way, basically. Uh, last thing is all the item changes. I believe this is the same item changes that they did to uh, PC League as well. So the Bramble Vest and Thorn Mail nerfs. Um, the Thorn damage is going down to now 8% of bonus armor instead of 10%. Um, and Thorn Mail, the combined cost and the total cost is going up by 100. Um, I do agree with what they say here that the Bramble Vest and Thorn Mail kind of uh, open forming as rush items. So I did have specialized roles instead uh, are the best go-to early game armor item generally. I totally agree with that. Most, if not everyone, builds Bramble Vest. Uh, mainly, mainly because of the healing in the game, really, at the moment. There's quite a lot of healing in the game. Like Hunter Vampirism, there's quite a few champions with healing. So, most tanks do go Bramble Vest because it's really easy. Obviously, Fiora as well. Quite a lot of healing in laning phase as a top laner. Uh, and I think the, the main thing as well is that the other armor items kind of got nerfed. Obviously, Deadman's Plate got nerfed. Um, Frozen Heart, as you can see here, got it gets a nice buff. But there's not really any other armor items to really go in terms of, you know, what you can actually do with um, with the other armor items as well. Whereas this obviously does a lot in terms of reducing the healing, gives you some nice health, some nice armor. So some pretty nice changes overall. I don't mind these changes at all, really, um, with uh, with Thornmail and Bra um, Bramble Vest. Obviously, Bramble Vest is staying the same price. So you you know you'll still get the same you know the same cost for the same amount, but it's just the bonus uh, damage or the thorn damage on the bonus arm will be a little bit less. Um, as I mentioned, Frozen Heart is getting a nice little buff. Um, the attack speed uh, reduction aura is now twenty percent instead of fifteen percent, which is quite nice. Uh, this will work really well on champions that want to get into the back line, Malphite champions like that that want to dive into the back line and kind of be a nuisance to the. Um, to the enemy carries which is quite nice rune changes as well they're buffing uh pathfinder which is quite nice um mainly for um jungles but only one percent movement speed not too much i still think mastermind is the best room for uh for junglers i still don't think pathfinder is better maybe it's better on certain champions but mastermind is just way too good for securing objectives trying to get an extra little bit of damage as well on the turrets and be able to get like you know xp gold and everything like that as well and then you have the free to play champion rotations there for you to uh, to enjoy but we are so so close now to patch 2.4 only a couple of weeks away dev diary is going to be this week a bunch of blogs are going to be released this week that jackals has confirmed as well so i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to getting some nice content out for you and hopefully giving you my best insight into all of these changes um, but as always, thank you all for tuning into the video. Again, very small patch, but some nice changes that might shift up the meta a little bit, but not too much. And obviously, we have the uh, the Battle Academy of Skins coming into the game as well, which I'm really, really excited about. But yeah, as always, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.